Good morning. Welcome. We're back here at the uh, John Muir Trail, not to be confused with the John Muir Trail out uh, out west. Uh, this runs along the Hiawassee River. You can see the river there, and uh, we're at the trailhead. Um, so yeah, this this goes a long ways. We're not going to do everything. Um, we're just going to go out a ways and then come back, however far we feel like going. Um, it's uh, it's kind of a wet day, not too cold. It's about 52, and uh, yeah, we'll see how it's going. Uh, back here again with our ever falling, no, I won't say falling <laughs> friend. Kathy, who provides entertainment for the channel. <laughs> um, waiting for something very viral. I missed the last fall. That would have been good, but yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's our, our plan. All right, we're out walking along the John Muir Trail. This is the uh, Hiawassee River. Running a little high today. Last time we were here, it was much lower. It's... Uh, Looking pretty strong. We've had some recent rains, so the trail is a bit wet. All right. This will be interesting. All right, we're walking along. This section of the trail is all through the uh, conifers. And, uh, it's very spongy and soft. We were just remarking to Kathy how different that was from our last trail, which was pointy rocks on most of it where our feet were really hurting. So at least for this section, it's really nice and feels like you're walking on a mattress. Yeah, so we got lucky. A little worried about it being a rainy day. It started out a little cold, but it's warmed up a lot just in the last one mile of walking. Uh, sun's peeking out and uh, it's a beautiful day. So, uh, All right, we've hit a number of blowdowns. Some are just unfortunate height. This one, almost too tall to go over. I'm not sure. Now, if you're height challenged, maybe you just go under. <laughs> but what if something happens? I think when the river's lower, this might have been easier. All right, I think that's fine. That's fine. You can do it. Mm. 
There you go, you got it. Yeah, that's a bit of a jump there. Are you gonna go under or over? I used the tree too to help me. It's a little, it's not super slippery, but it's actually not as, a little more slippery than I expected. <laughs> you need help? Oh yeah, that's going in the video. <laughs> I'm all wet. And if you don't think you can do it, just let me know. We'll stop and turn around. Like I said, grab the rock when you can on the side and use it to pull. Yeah, exactly. And then be careful with your footing. I didn't really use them. I don't think you can throw them that far. If they go clattering down, that's bad. Use the rocks. So today's hike, uh, it'd probably be a good idea to introduce you to uh, our friend Kathy. So uh, a little bit of background, uh, Kathy went to school with me, so she's old like I am. Um, and uh, we met at a class reunion, her and my wife, well my wife and I met her at a class reunion in San Diego. and. Uh, yeah, so just got to talking and uh, she decided to make some changes and came out to live near us in Tennessee. And uh, she worked for us for a while as our kind of like uh, personal assistant and uh, eventually moved on to better things, I'm sure. And uh, so I'll let Kathy fill you in on some of her background and uh, the changes that she's gone through and uh, how she's now addicted to hiking. Hmm? I don't know what, I need a script. That'll be on the video. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, what am I supposed to say? So tell us about yourself, Kathy. Let me ask you questions, would that help? That would help. Right. So uh, yeah, when did you come out to Tennessee? 2019, March. We left the day at they declared it a pandemic, COVID. And why did you come out? Um, because I came out for a visit the year, that year, yeah, 2019. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, in the summer. Also, we moved out in the 20, in 2020. See, you don't interview me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I came out here in 2019, visit Randy and a girlfriend of mine from San Diego, also moved out here. And I just fell in love with the green and the water. It's just, I've never seen so much. And then fell in love with it, went back home to Arizona, sold the ranch, and came out here and moved in with my girlfriend, March 2020, at 181 pounds. And then I bought my house in June 2019 in Cleveland, next to the Chases, near the Chases. Yeah, next to it would be kind of creepy. Um, <laughs> up the street. Okay, so you mentioned you're 181 pounds, so um, you're not 181 pounds now. No. All right, so what changed? I went vegan. Oh, so how long has that been? Four years. Four years you've been vegan? Cool. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about being vegan? It has changed my life. Yeah? It's awesome. Cool. It's, it wasn't that hard. 
It isn't that hard, and you just have to have an open mind. Right. You don't feel like you're doing without? And... No. Yeah. Yeah. No. no not at all. Uh -huh. Not at all. And what about hiking? You just started hiking a little bit. Yeah. Well, I have been running and walking. I have a little greenway by my where I live, and I was running. I did a 5K. Killed me. Did two 5Ks. Right. You even went, did a 5K. Yep. And um. I kind of don't like running. I'm 65, and it kind of jars you and everything. And once I started hiking with the chases, I realized I'd rather hike. Oh, cool. It's just as much exercising and everything is running. I only run as fast as I walk anyway. So when are you going to do the entire uh, AT? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's wet and cold. Right. And no fluffy beds. Mm-hmm. Well, there are, actually are fluffy beds. <laughs> Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? I might change my mind. But mm -hmm. right now, no, this is fine. Yep. So how often do you want to hike every week? Twice. Twice three times. Twice, two to three times a week? I would love that, yeah. All right. And so we're on a like over 10-mile hike today, and how are you doing? I feel fine. We've climbed up the mountain. We're quite a ways up now, and uh, you're doing good? Yeah. If I could survive that last hike we did, that was oh, that was brutal. That was a, that one was pretty hard. I'll, I'll make a video of that one. Uh, she... <laughs> She had some struggles. <laughs> she was on the struggle bus. <laughs> All right. Well, that's. Uh, I think that introduces you to Kathy. If you can't, anybody who's wondered who the hell is Kathy and why is she going out there with him? Um, I'm family. Yeah, she's our. She's part of our family. We jokingly call her the sister wife, but uh, because Randy's so awesome, he needs two women to take care of him. That's yeah. That that'll definitely be going in the video. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the. Um, uh, again, for those following along, uh, right now my wife is uh, busy finishing up her doctorate for her PhD. Uh, we've been waiting for that for, uh, she's been working on that for a year. And uh, yeah, so then I'll be uh, married to a lawyer and a doctor. And yeah, it'll be kind of weird. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but yeah, so we're all waiting for her to finish that up so she can join us back on the trail again. Maybe she'll join us on some trails anyways. We'll see. So that kind of wraps up. Uh, we're going to be turning around and heading back we just had our snacky snack and uh, some water and we're going to turn around and head back down to the trailhead talk to you later peace out yeah are they all well it was almost like they set them up orthogonal like in rows or is that just, but it's, i think it's just coincidental and a lot of them are just kind of cattywampus so I don't know but it's crazy how many like a graveyard of moss covered logs that we're walking through oh, yeah. these blow downs blow downs there's a bunch of them all right, I'm tired. <laughs> All right, that's one, one and a half, I guess. I, I can't get up. Do you want me to push you? <laughs> I can't get up. This was easier on the way out. <laughs> My foot was caught. It's a little place where people are can sit and have a little fire. <laughs> <laughs>